Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm gonna show you an easy way to add audio to your Google Slides using Screencastify. So the first thing to do is go to screencastify.com and then you can click on either of the blue buttons that say add to Chrome. Now I already have mine added to Chrome, but you just click on this button that says add to Chrome. And now we'll open up Google Slides. I'll use the presentation that I used in a previous video that shows you how to make any PDF or image an editable file. And then I'll go up top here and now that I've added the Screencastify extension, I can click on that. Now, if you haven't already, you'll have to go through the setup process. And you just wanna make sure that it has access to your camera and microphone. Now you'll see that there is a notice at the top that tells you there's a five minute limit per video. And that's fine for our use because we can create a new quote unquote video for each slide. And it really shouldn't be much longer than five minutes anyways. So let's go through and I'll show you how you can just grab audio here. And then the next option down here is really important. You'll just wanna make sure that your microphone is enabled and you can see if it's working because as you're talking, you should see some kind of lines. Now, if you don't see any lines, you can click where it says select and make sure that you have the right microphone selected so that it's picking up your voice. And then you can select record. And again, it doesn't matter what it's seeing right now. It'll give you a countdown. And now I can record my audio, by, I can give instructions, I can tell students what I'd like them to do, uh, or really anything that you wanna record here. When you're done, click stop sharing. And then you're gonna wanna go down and select export audio only. And you'll see it says exporting MP3. Now you can download this MP3 onto a computer, uh, if you're on a Chromebook, you can download it and it will go into your Google Drive. But when you set up your Screencastify account, it will actually take that file and put it in your Google Drive for you. And now you'll see, once I'm in my Google Drive, I can select this and audio I file. My audio, my, I can give instructions, I can tell students what I'd like And that's the do. file that I created. Uh, really One thing that's really important to point out is before you insert your audio file into Google Slides, you have to change the sharing settings. So when you click on share, the default will likely be restricted. So only people added can open with this link. And if you don't change that, when you share the presentation with students, they won't be able to hear your audio. They'll have to request access to it. So if you change the settings from restricted to anyone with the link and then select done, this will allow anybody who's looking at your Google Slides presentation to be able to hear the audio as well. So let's go back into our Google Sheet. Uh, we'll just put it on this first page here. So what you're gonna do is go to Insert, and then Audio, and this will take you into your Google Drive. I happen to know that this is the file that I want, so I can select. It will create a little icon that you can make bigger. And then you also have options on the right side here that it will start automatically or start um, when a student clicks on it. You can also decide if you want it to loop. And then there's a whole bunch of other options about the way the icon looks. But for now, we'll just keep this like this and we'll start it automatically. So now when a student goes into present mode, and now I can record my audio, my, I can give instructions. You'll notice you hear my recording. Like to do, uh, or really anything that you want to record. And then when I go to the next slide, it stops. So you could potentially have different audio on each slide. So this is a really quick and easy way to add audio to your Google Slides, which is really helpful in this time of distance learning or remote teaching. Uh, if you have any questions or having trouble getting this set up, please feel free to reach out to me. I do the best I can to respond to as many comments as possible. Uh, so you can leave me a comment in the comment section below or reach out to me on Twitter at Dan Spada. You can also find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash the ed tech show. I've also listed several other tutorial videos in the description below. So things like how to make those editable PDFs in Google Slides, 
you know, how to add backgrounds and lenses to Google Meet, and so much more. So please feel free to go through those and share them with teachers that you think might find them helpful. And if you want to stay up to date on all my latest videos, please click that subscribe button below and select that notification bell so you get notified every time a new video comes out. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.